How you doing, Surreal World? My name is Zeke Samples, and today we're going to discuss the three body types. The ectomorph, the mesomorph, and the endomorph. Your ectomorph is typically the person who has a very difficult time gaining weight. Your mesomorph is kind of like your holy grail body style, can easily lose weight and easily gain weight. And your endomorph can gain weight no matter what, and has a difficult time losing weight. But don't get discouraged if you feel you can't succeed in a weightlifting or nutritional program because you can't. Genetics can dictate your body shape or type, but results are possible with any kind of nutritional or weight management approach. Well, that wraps up our three body type variations. I hope to help educate you a little bit on maybe what you are or what your friends or family are or where you came from and where you can go, the possibilities with a proper nutrition and exercise program. Being a certain body type can be a blessing or a curse. Depending on our genetics, we can be three different categories. Also, depending on our diet, we can also change how we live through those categories for the rest of our lives. In this video, I want to discuss the three different body types. Ectomorphs typically eat just about anything they want to and not gain weight. But if they're trying to gain weight, it can be very difficult. If an ectomorph wants to lean down, he will have little trouble doing so. But most of the time, you'll see ectomorphs as skinny fat, and if their diet isn't right, then they won't lose that excess body fat. So an ectomorph can have a hard time losing weight, it just depends on what his diet would be. The endomorph body is round. The round shape is typically from the majority of fat located in the abdominal area. Not all endomorphic shapes have this central obesity, but it can be an easily distinguishing trait. Women tend to store fat on their lower body and their hips, thighs and buttocks, giving some women a pear-like shape to their bodies. Women also tend to store fat closer to the surface of their skin, which we call subcutaneous fat, increasing their tendency to form cellulite. This fat is less associated with disease and is a more cosmetic issue for women. Keep in mind that muscle weighs more than fat. The density of muscle is much greater than fat pound for pound. In both of these images, you can see that each of these people, believe it or not, have 10% body fat. The mesomorphic body is kind of like a hybrid. They can lose weight easily and they can also gain weight easily. Depending on their diet, it just depends. But you don't want to look like this. I get it. There are also crosses in the celebrity world. There's an ectomezo, such as Michael Phelps, a pure mesomorph. We all know this guy would be The Rock. And an endomezo would be somebody like Brock Lesnar. Well, that wraps up our video on the three different body types, short and sweet, but I hope to help educate you a little bit on possibly what you are or what your family or friends are as well. And no matter what you are, you can also help change that or alter it with the proper nutrition and exercise program. In the description down below, I will add a link to Chris Aceto's book, Everything You Need to Know About Fat Loss. Um, he was my coach when I was national champion, and it also is a great book that will help you kind of educate yourself on different things and includes some recipes as well. And I will list also my website below. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel many more videos to come. Now this is the first of many. A little scratchy, but I promise they'll only get better. Today is tomorrow's yesterday. Decide what you're going to do with it. Have a great day.